First things first, ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood is reinstating mask mandates. I'm not kidding you. Lionsgate is reinstating mask mandates for their Los Angeles workers. It says employees must wear a medical grade face covering, surgical mask, KN95 or N95 when indoors, except when alone in an office with the door closed actively eating, actively drinking at their desk or workstation, or if they are the only individual present in a large open workspace. I think people just don't want to look at each other. That's what this is really about. I also saw a tweet today that, weirdly enough, we have a guest with a, his sunglasses on, said that um, the same way that, you know, alcoholics and drug addicts wear sunglasses inside at night in dark bars and stuff like that to hide their bloodshot eyes, people are wearing masks because they are, they, they don't like how they look and that they don't was, want people to look at them. There was, a, I remember there was a lot of, a lot of the dating, like social media people, like the people who run like the, their own dating profile, like, you know, dating uh, advice columnists and stuff were talking about how masks were like making the dating market uninhabitable during and COVID. mask fishing. Because there was the, like people would take their mask off and they're like, ah, like, you know, like uh, the, it's, uh, see what I did, see what I did, is I said, look, if I have the, if I have the balls, the guts, the temerity to, to not wear a mask despite not liking how I look, you too <laughs> cannot wear a mask and not like how you look. I think like- You don't need to catfish everyone. The mask fishing wasn't necessarily even that they take off their mask and they're ugly. It was more so that you just imagined in your brain, like your brain just, uh, created an image of what they look like from the upper half of their face and if you see something that you didn't expect you're gonna think that it's shocking yeah like that's what it was for me i don't think uh, but this is clearly just like hollywood being insane i got the crisis meter working again guys it was uh, it was a little bit delayed there so we're back on track yeah so it, it's i remember that there was a lot of people there was a lot of really good instagram and tiktok skits that were being made about yeah. like face catfishing during during covid um hopefully you know. no one on their dating profile was only <laughs> showing pictures of them wearing a mask but of course i mean this just but further like, indicates that there's an election coming i up, think right? mayors just what, what do mayors do? Like, genuine question. I don't know what mayors do, because I think during COVID, they were like, we can do things, <laughs> bad things. <laughs> like, this is all they concern themselves with, is making everyone's life a living hell. Because uh, they feel like if they're making your life a living hell, they're actually doing something. Because yeah. they were useless before. I don't, I don't know. If there are any mayors in the chat, let us know <laughs> what you do for a living. It's similar to a DEI department. I have no idea yeah. what these people do on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. No idea. Uh, and, and part of it's also like a lot of these workers, if they're office workers, they're probably bitter they had to come back to the office anyways. Yeah. They were probably more thinking along the lines of like, look, I want to do distance working anyways. I want to work from home. One of the things that I thought was really interesting is I was talking to someone recently because uh, we were talking about like when schools go back out here. Like when do people, it felt like they got out after, like in Minnesota, we would get out at the beginning of June and then we would go back like right after Labor Day. Is that Labor Day, right? Or is that Memorial Day? I just, I just get those two mixed up. But you know, like close to, as sub in, in September, right? Yeah. So like, here it felt like they got done after and we're already going back next week so it's like when do they like when do they actually take time like get their time off in minnesota and then we were talking about like in minnesota like they don't even have snow days anymore wow because it snow no no like you just do distance learning you just oh, have to, you, oh, yeah, like that you, sucks. yeah, wow. dude, you don't even get to have the day off. Like they just yeah. immediately transition to doing classes online. Just the same way that like students don't learn the same when they're on a zoom call. You don't work the same when yeah. you're at home. S somebody said name 10 mayors. <laughs> oh, you like mayors, right? Name 10 of them. <laughs> Can you name 10? We mayors? love mayors. We love, <laughs> we love mayors. <laughs> that should be his next thing. Matan's next thing should be. We love mayors. Genuinely, like does every town yeah. have a mayor or do some towns like share? mayors i think yeah. it's only incorporated towns like it's towns that okay. establish it like there's settlements where people live there and then there's settlements where people live there and like this is whatever town we're gonna have a government yeah okay you know? so yeah. yeah so it says the return of mask mandates come as the biden administration is ramping up another round of covid hysteria or, uh, heading into 2024 you know because they think that they're gonna that's, that's gonna have get to your do your boosters the, uh, get, this fall did you uh the like, flu no longer <laughs> exists well no it just disappears every so often Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So 
it is what it is. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of uh, of these people doing this because Hollywood's already suffering with their with their strikes. Right? They got strikes. There was this article. <laughs> there was this article the other day about how like the strikes got re- got basically like rained out during um, Hurricane Hillary. Yeah. yeah. There's now a tropical storm herald. Wait, why does it change names? Is it's, that what they're calling it? It's not the same one. Yeah. It's a different Seriously. one. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was apparently pretty gnarly. Like my dad's. I thought my dad's house actually flooded yeah. out there. Apparently, it only got up to the porch. Thank God for that. But like. Man, that's my rare whole, for California. My whole life, right? I've never seen it rain like that. I saw like my hometown just flooded, and yeah. there's people out there boogie boarding. <laughs> yeah, probably it was not. Cool. Probably not great. You're gonna get brain eating amoeba. There. No, yeah. like in that water or yeah, get electrocuted. We, or more than likely, get some horrible disease. Yeah, like the infrastructure is probably pretty bad for that out there, right? Yeah, like no, it yeah. doesn't exist. Mm. My my dad like when it snowed in Texas and they yeah. were like, "What do you do?" <laughs> it's climate change. You mean the place where this never happens? Why would yeah. they prepare for that? <laughs> like, um, uh, my my dad worked for the Army Corps of Engineers, so one of the things he used to do is like after natural disasters, he would go and do all the land surveying work and help them drop plans for fixing the area. And there's a a town in Minnesota called Lilydale, which had this like famous like. Uh, the river basically overflowed in the 80s and they had to just change a bunch of the infrastructure around, you know, the city was basically built on top of all the damage that happened there. Oh, wow. So, yeah, California's probably not built for that in certain areas. God, no. Right? no. And they're not even in a flood area where my parents are at. I, I don't think this will end up halting any movie production. Oh, and also, the, the other thing that they point out is they're also going to re-implement daily testing for them. So they're going to have to freaking do a test every day. Bring back the COVID czars. Dude, the production assistants money. whose whole job is to stick swabs up people's noses. Too much money to be made. Way too much money to be made They're by companies. They're creating jobs if you think about it. When um, the last time I was, uh, I was um, at the li- I had to go get like a document done, like a uh, notarized here, and they had free Binax like COVID tests on like a like a like a bench or like, or like a not a bench but like a a table out front of a bench out front of the of the library, and just somebody had to pay for that. The city had to pay for that yeah. to give them away free at a public library. So there's your tax dollars at work. And it's just in California, they're using all of their investor capital uh, to invest in COVID tests. They're not going to put it towards making good movies. They're just going to do COVID tests forever. Still thinking about the nightmare experience it was for me, um, having to prove that I was COVID negative to get back into the U.S. when oh, I was too? in Ireland in 2021. Yeah. They made you like get on a Zoom call literally with somebody who's like a proctor for your COVID tests. And if you don't do everything that they say exactly correct, you can't go home. And you have to show the test, but not, they're like, you can't tilt the screen, but you also can't tilt the test. Mm. Uh, Like it was insane. Wow. What else? Like, was it like a, it like was a physical a test you had to PCR take? PCR oh, that okay. you have to put yeah. in your throat or your nose. Ugh, no we were we were in Mexico, and this was when all the border stuff was happening. My father-in-law, we were joking about, why don't we just walk across the border? Like, they're not going to stop us. Yeah. True. <laughs> They'll just True. let you go. Yeah. There you go. Did you? No. no. <laughs> Should have done it. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media, and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys. 